Right, we're just going to talk rigs for a second now. Uh, I want to run you through the rigs I'm using on the vegetable spot and the one on the boily spot. So first with the boily one. First thing, um, it's important, you're all going to be spending money when you come on these holidays on boilies and probably you'll, you'll all go and buy a, a bulk bag of boilies. The, the biggest tip I can give you is don't buy one size. Try to buy a couple of different sizes like 18s or, or, or 18s and dumbbells or 18s and 14s, that, that type of thing because what, what you want to do is keep the fish guessing. If you're, if you're feeding one size of bait, when they do come across your hook bait it will behave differently. So um, I've got there, I've got some dumbbells and I've got some 18 mil baits and I've also got some 14 mil baits as well in the bivvy. So I'm keeping them guessing. Um, On to the actual rig itself, um, I've got a little curved shank hook there um, with with the hair coming out the back of the eye. Now that that, that for me makes the, uh, the 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 back of the uh, hook quite light, whilst it exaggerates the, the the weight of the point, which helps it drop in the fish's mouth. Um, to to aid that, I've uh, basically plugged the 18 more boily with some cork okay and that's almost like a I call it my little mushroom rig because it looks like a little button mushroom so um, it's very easy to do you just drill out the center of the bait um, only three quarters through and then put the plug in so you you have a bit protruding out the back and what that does it almost it it has the hook sort of laying on the bottom up like that with the hair laying that now that might look really weird to you and think oh I'm never gonna get a bite on that but imagine that in the fish's mouth with a hook hanging low, it's hanging heavy, so when that bait's gone in and that hair's wafting about in their mouth, that hook's trying to catch somewhere, and that, with these pressured fish, I, I believe that is quite an edge, so uh, I've been persevering with that, and just before I cast it out, I'm literally just wrapping the hook bait in a bit of paste, now, that'll probably take 45 minutes to an hour to break down, but that's another thing they don't see. Look at that, big ball of paste. And that's oozing attraction because that's almost, you know, that's what your boilie is made of before it's boiled. So that's, you know, that's the neat finished boilie prior to boiling, which, you know, is full of attraction, oozing quality, and it, it really is an edge. Now onto the vegetable rig. Um, firstly, on the actual hair itself, I've got two bits of fake sweet corn. They're both, both little pop-up ones, and I've had them soaking in my little special tub of um, beetling and peachade. So I've got all my little plastic baits in that tub and uh, they're all soaking in that liquid and that's what I've got on that. Um, you'll notice on the hair, I've got a little shot there. Again, that's doing the same thing. What, it, what it'll do is that bait will sit on the bottom like that. The hook will be flat and that bait will just be, I call it, it's cocked, almost ready to go. So the minute they suck it up, it, it flies in their mouth, but again, that hook is hanging low and it's trying to catch them, whether it's in the scissors, in the corners. I'm not too bothered. I know a lot of the other guys love to fish the silicon around the bend and try to get them in the bottom lip, but I'm not so bothered about that. I just want, I just want to catch them. And I think that rig, especially when they're feeding slowly, with that hook being free, it can, it's able to drop down in their mouth wherever it might be, but you certainly will catch them. And I'll go on about the lead system in a minute. So before I cast that, I also had PVA bags, so I'll show you how do that now. Right, I'm using the uh, sort of bigger, wider funnel web, which is a little bit different to long chuck and the boily web that Dan's using. Um, the, the reason is I want a sort of big fat clump of bait rather than a long strip, if you like. And the other difference is I'm hooking it on a lot of the time. So just to show you how I'm fishing that, um, there it is, the big tube. And what I'm putting in that is I'll put, generally on the boily rod, I'll put three, three whole baits, okay, straight in the tube couple of dumbbells and then what I'll do is I'll crush a couple of dumbbells as well that but by opening that well you, in effect you're taking the seal off the bait by opening it up you're allowing it to ooze out more attraction similar to the paste hook bait so once they're in there very easy get a plunger inside these systems so I just shove it down a bit push it out dead easy give yourself plenty of funnel web to work with take it off and what I do is I spin it here to tighten it so everything's uh, nice and tight inside the bag and what that does it, it, it sort of compresses underwater and then bang it opens up giving you a nice big spread that's it just a nice overhand loop and again I'll just twist that down and I'll just slide the knot down when it gets over my little finger there I'll just hold it there pull it down that's lovely and tight repeat the process again like so, cut it with the scissors, you're ready to go. 
Okay, so all you've got to do now is quite simply hook the bag on. You'll notice I'm going to put it away from the knots because the knots are the biggest part when they melt on the bottom. You don't want that congealing around the actual hook. So basically in it goes. That's it. You, you, you know, you'll be fishing, just clip that on. I've got a little figure of eight loop on the end. I'll run my silicon over that and attach it to the uh, stick clip. So I'll show you that in a second.